Well, hey guys, hi, Brent Abel, webtennis.com, back here with a follow-up video from what we were working on yesterday, which is uh, where you want to land when you serve and stay back. What's coming up is a video I did about a year ago, which really illustrates my point. We've got Brian Cheney right here, the number one player in the United States in the men's 65 age group. And... Uh, what I want to show you here is his version and what I think you should be thinking about in terms of serve and stay back. And, you know, when we think of serve and volley, uh, you know, we place this toss here out in front enough so that when we land in the court, it helps bring us in a series of steps on up to the net. But the serve and stay back, what I see way too often is this toss is is either behind the baseline here or on top of it. And what happens is you lose a lot of natural swing speed with the toss in that position where it's not out in front. And what I want to show you here with Bryant is what he does. This is a serve and stay back. And I want you to look at where he ends up, okay? Uh, and I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking, well, geez, what if my opponent uh, you know, crushes the return back here isn't it right at my feet? And two things. Number one, if this return uh, is going to be deep, uh, I'm, I'm telling you what's going to happen here. Brian is, for, first of all, he, he's, he's already identified that it's, it's not going to be deep. It's going to be short where, you know, he can go ahead and take charge of the point right now. But even if this were, were to be landing back in here, Brian would be in perfect position to play a transitional volley from right here and uh, do whatever he wants to do. He could either move forward or else he could just go ahead and play the volley and stay back. But thing number two is the reality of your opponent being able to consistently take that serve of yours and, uh, and return it deep right here is just not a reality, <laughs> I guess for lack of a better term. So what I want you to take from this is that when you decide to serve and stay back, I want that toss of yours out in front far enough so that you end up right here in the court and you're looking to take charge instantly off of that return. Now, this is just a, a sample video I did uh, in one of my courses, in one of my serve courses. And this is, uh, again, this is a serve and stay back. Now, my toss is far enough out in front to where it brings me into the court. Now, I'm not as far in as Brian gets on this, but this is really the same thing in terms of I just don't believe my opponent is going to consistently, you know, pepper that return deep back here to my feet. And so sure enough, what happens, you know, I played a good serve to the body and the return is short. And now I'm looking to get in early, play this approach up the line. And, uh, you know, now I'm in charge of the point. Okay, here's another example of Brian with the serve and stay back. And here it is. I mean, again, obviously this is not a serve and volley. He's putting the brakes on here. But, you know, he, he's got that toss far enough out in front in the serve that it carries him in. And he gets a much higher quality serve because of that. And uh, so, again, you know, here it is. He gets the ball, plays the approach the volley, and then the lob, and thank you very much.